Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. How is your week going so far? How's it going so far? How you doing? Getting stuff done, getting work done, feeling accomplished, I hope so. I hope so. Hope you're staying safe. Hope you're staying healthy, right? Let's still remember we're not through this yet. Let's keep going. Persevere, patience, all of that stuff. You guys are awesome. I'm doing my part, trying to give you guys a little levity, a little fun, a little joy, a YouTube video here and there. I know you could be out doing other stuff or you could be watching dog memes, right? Or the TikTok, you could be doing that. I'm on TikTok, did you hear? Did you hear? I just joined TikTok this last month. I'm at Magic Orthodoxy over there, just like I am here. So if you want to follow me on TikTok, I'm doing some other stuff over there too. So just, just doing it, right? We're all just doing it. We're all just doing what we can. Hey, if you appreciate this, you appreciate what I do, you appreciate my channel, if you get anything from it, if I help you with purchases in any way, just do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe, hit that notification bell. That helps me out a ton. You know, I've made a couple of videos about uh, magicians that I like or magicians that I think are just amazing and I will always sing Teller's praises, right? From Teller from Penn and Teller, I think is one of the greatest living magicians of our time, if not all time. He uh, can do stage, he can do parlor, he can do cards, he can do coins, plus his knowledge of magic is just unparalleled. And on top of that, he does it all without speaking. I mean, he, uh, yeah, I can't say enough great things about Teller. He is absolutely amazing. If you're ever down in Vegas, make sure you go see Penn and Teller's show. They are incredible. That said, one of Teller's signature tricks is of course his shadows trick. There's another one that's very popular. I'm sure you've seen it where he does a coin production and a fish production. He has a large tank with water inside and he makes uh, fish appear out of nowhere, right? These fish just magically appear. And you've probably thought, wow, that's incredible, it's amazing, I could never do that. Now you can. Now you can make, well, you can make a single fish appear. <laughs> Let's take a single wine goblet with water inside, you show it empty, you wave a cloth over the top and a goldfish magically appears. That's what you get with Sea Life by Magic Dream Paris. All right, Sea Life from Magic Dream Paris. This is by creator Jerome Salou, and uh, you can watch uh, the explanation for this both in English and French, and uh, you can find this at magicdream.fr. So let's say you pay your $60 to Magic Dream Paris, what will you get? Uh, you'll get a long cardboard box because inside that you're getting the glass. They supply the glass, they didn't have to, but they, they will because everything is custom fit, okay? Everything is custom fit, a custom size, so they're giving you the glass. And the glass is really strong, it's not gonna break, it's very sturdy. They're gonna give you the cloth to go over the top. And the cloth is printed in a way that'll disguise some of the method. Uh, you're gonna get some very attractive elements that help you do the work. And you'll get the typical uh, gimmick, it's a plastic gimmick, that uh, does the work in this style of effect without me giving it away, but it's a traditional gimmick that comes with this type of trick. So is it what I thought? Yeah, kind of. I mean, I kind of had some ideas about how you could hide something in water without people seeing, and it was what I thought. Is it well-made? Everything is well-made. Uh, you're really getting quality props all the way around with this. Uh, you take care of it. This is gonna be a prop that'll last you your entire career. Uh, there are a couple of vanishes that Jerome is gonna teach you that if you wanted to do those vanishes, you would need to add one extra thing, and that would be your favorite magician's assistant. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, you got two gentlemen, they are in the studio. They are mic'd, there is no music, and it is all well shot, you get multiple angles. As far as what they're gonna teach you, they'll give you a little bit of a history behind the effect. The effect is actually older than this, right? Jerome is borrowing on an older principle. He'll talk about the inspiration that he had for that. Then they'll cover what's in the box, They'll go over the basic principle, and really, once you got this, you could immediately start doing it, uh, those of you who have a little bit more experience. There's a few studio performances that he does back to back to back, and in those studio performances, he's using multiple items for the vanishing. So he'll start with the silk, but then he'll move on to bigger silks, or smaller silks, or even a small flag on a stick. 
Uh, he uses a folding fan for one, which is really nice. He uses a pamphlet for one, which is really ingenious. Uh, one's a sushi menu. He disappears one behind a whiteboard by wiping the fish off the whiteboard. And then when he removes the whiteboard, the fish is gone. And then he uses another one with like a Kindle where he has a video of a fish appearing in a glass. And then when he moves the screen away, the fish is really there. And then afterwards, of course, they'll walk through the explanations for each appearance. How are the angles? Uh, the angles are really good for parlor and stage because this is a parlor and stage effect. Close up, I think you have to be a little bit uh, careful because with close up, you, if you and the spectator are sitting at the same height and the glass is on the table, there's a possibility the spectator can see over the glass. And if they can see over the glass, then of course there'll be hints of color uh, as the fish makes its way to the surface. You'd also have to watch out for fish that have larger fins or larger tails where those can actually peek uh, over the top of the surface because, you know, the fish can only swim around in the glass. There's not a lot of space. So it's not like he can go deep in the glass. So angles wise, I think you're gonna wanna keep your glass a little higher than somebody's eye line, that's gonna work the best. As far as questions like pocket space and can it be inspected, it's a stage effect, right? This is a stage effect, this is a parlor effect, this is where it's gonna work great. I would also argue this would be a fantastic trick for social media. And with social media doing a lot of these really quick effects that are probably more modern and might rely more on technology, this is a classic, right? This is a classic trick. Let's bring some classic tricks back to social media. How much practice does it require? It is very easy and you'll get that. As soon as you watch the basic principle at the beginning of the trick and you see like, okay, that's what I have to do. You could literally just take your props over to the mirror and practice a couple times and you'll get it. Uh, you don't even have to practice with a real fish if you don't want to. If you have a toy rubber bathroom, you know, floating in the tub fish, then use that. Set up and reset is gonna go back to saying it's parlor at stage, right? With set up and reset, that's not really a question we ask with tricks for parlor and stage because we understand you're doing all the setup for a one-time shot and you're not gonna do it again. This isn't a trick you're gonna do as walk around, although, no, I wouldn't do it as walk around. <laughs> positives, all right, so what are the positives to sea life? Um, for one, I think it takes a classic trick that people have seen and brings it down for you, you know, I think a lot of people have seen Teller produce goldfish. So for you to do it, even on a smaller scale, I think there's that connection. People have seen famous magicians do things like this. So it's an easy story plot to follow for them. Um, second, it's cruelty free. I think in the past, there's been some explanations about how to do things like this, where we've kept the fish very tight and in a small space where they didn't have a lot of uh, movement, uh, which could cause the fish to panic and uh, not give them oxygen. In this, the fish has plenty of space. The fish is not panicking. You can sit there and hold the glass um, and you can see the fish the whole time uh, as the performer. So you know if the fish is panicking or, or going through stress and you'll be able to see that they're not, they're, they're fine. And so that I think right there, let's try to find more effects that are cruelty free. You know, that, that uh, we acknowledge that magicians have used animals in the past to do our magic and that they are also performers alongside of us. Let's do our best to make sure that they're in a safe environment as well. All right, so negatives, what are the negatives? When you do the appearance, when you yank the fabric away or yank the item away, there can be uh, a sound because there's a point of contact. There is a point of contact and that point of contact uh, has a history of making a click noise and so that would just be you practicing, making sure that you can muffle it as best you can. I think if you're doing this for parlor or stage, you really don't have anything to worry about. If you were doing this on social media, you had a mic pinned to your shirt, then yes, I think you'd have to work on that, that, that little click noise. Is it worth your money? It's 60 bucks and everything's included. Well, except a fish. You still need to go to the store and, and buy a fish. How much, is, how much is a fish? Like if you were gonna buy just a standard gold, it's like what, a buck, 60 cents? Like I guess 60 cents for a feeder fish. Like what about a goldfish that actually has like pretty tails and fins? Like how much would that cost? Anybody know? All right, so the, yeah, that's your homework, okay? No matter your country or where you, or where you live, go out and you, you tell us down below, how much does it cost for a goldfish where you live? Tell us, we wanna know. We, we are all on the edge of our seat. Who would like this? I think people that do parlor, people that do stage. I think this is a great, even uh, a kid show trick. Really, it is, it's a great kid show trick. Uh, kids love animals. 
right? Do this for a school setting or an assembly. Uh, as long as everybody can see. Obviously, Goldfish isn't that big, but you know, yeah, it'd be a fun trick. All right, that's everything I can say about Sea Life from Magic Dream Paris. Like I said, you can find this at magicdream.fr. I want to thank Magic Dream Paris for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. But wait, do you want to learn more about the t-shirt I was wearing in today's video? Of course you do. That's from my Teespring store. If you scroll down into the description area, you can click any one of those t-shirt graphics. It'll take you out to Teespring and show you my magic orthodoxy apparel. That's right. I've got several different styles and colors and price points to choose from, including my King of Clubs Black Roses exclusive Daniel Schneider tea. If you appreciate what I do, that is a great way to support this channel. Thanks.